Hey guys, this is Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. This is the DJI Air 3S and this is DJI's latest drone for the prosumer market. If you're passionate about capturing stunning aerial footages, this dual camera drone is designed just for you. We'll explore what makes the DJI Air 3S an exceptional choice and how it compares to the DJI Neo and the DJI Mini 4 Pro, which I already own. This is not the full review of this drone. If you want to read our full review, you can check it out on our website. A lot of reputable Filipino drone pilots have also posted their reviews and videos about the DJI Air 3S as well. Links are in the description. The DJI Air 3S isn't just another drone. It's a powerful tool that transforms how we see the world from above. With its dual camera system featuring a 1-inch primary camera and a 70mm medium telecamera, this drone offers a dynamic range of up to 14 stops. Now, the primary camera boasts a 50 megapixel sensor capable of shooting 4K at 60 FPS HDR and even 4K at 120 FPS videos. This high resolution capability, combined with a larger sensor area and intelligent algorithms, maximizes hardware performance. The medium telecamera isn't far behind as well, with a 48 megapixel sensor that supports the same video specifications as the primary camera. Both lenses offer a 14 stop dynamic range, as mentioned earlier, preserving more detail in low light environments and capturing cleaner sunsets, for example, and even nightscapes. Now, the dual camera system of the DJI Air 3S allows for seamless switching between lenses, enabling you to capture everything from grand landscapes to close-up shots with ease. This versatility makes it ideal for various scenarios, whether you're documenting your travels or focusing on specific subjects like people or maybe even animals. Now, safety is paramount or on top when flying drones, especially at night. The DJI Air 3S comes equipped with Nightscape Omnidirectional Obstacle Sensing thanks to its forward-facing LiDAR and multiple visual sensors. And if you take a look at this drone, there's really a lot of sensors here. And if you're familiar with uh, drones by DJI, especially uh, the ones with the Mini 4K, the one on here, this one really gives you a full breadth of all the sides, corners of what this drone can see. Now, this advantage, or this, uh, if I may say, advanced system provides robust safety for night shooting, allowing you to navigate low light environments confidently. Now, just be sure to observe proper rules and laws when flying this kind of drone. And before I forget, another one for safety, one of the standard features of the DJI Air 3S is its next-gen smart return to home system. Now imagine being able to return your drone safely without relying on satellite positioning signals or worrying about low light conditions. Now this one will not have any issues with that very much because this one uses a pre-built map model from its outbound flight to find its way back home, eliminating the need for satellite signal acquisition before takeoff. Now, when it comes to battery and flight time, this one has a 45 minutes of flight time and a remarkable 20 kilometer video transmission range. Now, with the 45 minutes of flight time and a remarkable 20 kilometer video transmission range, the DJI Air 3S lets you explore further and capture more without frequent interruptions for charging. While we've covered the major highlights, uh, there are other features that make the DJI Air 3S even more appealing. Now this one, uh, there is a panorama that lets you customize your panoramic shots by freely choosing the framing range and composing multiple photos into one stunning image. It also has a forward-facing lighter, which I mentioned earlier, I think this is perfect for environments with weak visual cues like glass, uh, walls, or plain colored surfaces. And it also has low light environment sensing, which lets you fly confidently even when lighting conditions are minimal. Now let us see how the DJI Air 3S stacks up against its siblings. We have here the DJI Neo, and we also have here the DJI Mini 4 Pro, which I personally own. Now, these are two distinct drones tapping distinct set of audience. Now, while that is the case, each product, including the Air 3S, presents an upgrade path in your drone flying journey. So it all depends what you wish to actually do. Now, the DJI Neo is known for its compact design and you know, very much ease of use. It features a single camera with a smaller sensor than the Air 3S by a lot, of course. While it offers decent imaging capabilities with 
up to 4K 30 FPS video recording. It lacks uh, the dual camera versatility and advanced obstacle sensing found in the Air 3S. Its flight time is also shorter at around 15 to 17 minutes at most. Now, the DJI Mini 4 Pro is favored for its portability and simplicity. It also features a single camera setup similar to the Neo, but excels in lightweight design, making it ideal for casual users. However, it doesn't match the imaging performance or range of features like the smart return to home found in the Air 3S. Now, what can I say if I'm going to choose between the three? It's always best to have one per each need. In my case, if I wish something to where I can take uh, with me uh, anywhere I go, I would just simply go with this one because I can just simply take this off from my palm by just simply pressing a, a button and then look at the camera. And then it will just fly without even using a smartphone or any uh, controller at that. Now, my personal favorite is this one. This is the DJI Mini 4 Pro in terms of features and the things that it can provide me, they just really fit for what I need. Now, but if I really want to go up the you know, scale and I want to really upgrade the experience and the kind of quality of videos that I'd like to produce, I would probably go with this one. But in my experience, just to be honest with you, I will still go with the Mini 4 Pro, especially I'm not much of a professional a drone pilot, just like most of you are. Now let's talk about the versions and prices of the DJI Air 3S. This one is available in several versions, tailored to uh, meet different needs. The standard DJI Air 3S package includes the drone itself and the DJI RC and 3 remote controller. Now, for those looking for more accessories, the DJI Air 3S Fly More combo with the RC and 3 offers additional items such as uh, three batteries. There's also a, uh, an ND filter set, you know, a shoulder bag, and an RC and 3 remote controller, as I mentioned earlier. Alternatively, the DJI Air 3S Flymer combo with the RC2 includes similar accessories but comes with the DJI RC2 controller instead. So you just have to choose between the two which one you would like. But of course, I would recommend that you get yourself the one with the RC2 because this one has a built-in screen already giving you a uh, better experience overall. Now, in terms of pricing, the DJI Air 3S with uh, the DJI RC N3 is priced at $57,990. The DJI Air 3S Flymer combo with the RC N3 is available for $72,490. So what uh, you're seeing here is not the RC N3 version, but what you're seeing here now is the Flymer combo with RC2, which is priced at 82,490 pesos. So should you buy this one? If you're looking to upgrade your drone experience from models like the Neo or even the Mini series, the DJI Air 3S is an excellent choice. It's top-notch imaging performance, advanced safety features, and versatile capabilities make it an ideal tool for any aerial photography enthusiast. But if you're just a starter drone flyer or drone pilot and you want to really get to know the nitty gritty of things, the DJI Neo is the best bet uh, if you can find one because it's recently. And if you are in for a market for a slightly bigger drone, you can get uh, this one, which is the Mini 4K. Then again, as I mentioned earlier, if you really want to upgrade your drone game and if you want to have a bigger drone and ready to level up your uh, license, no? your cap license, then maybe you get yourself this one, the DJI Air 3S. Be sure to check out also the reviews from popular uh, drone flyers and drone pilots in the Philippines. Uh, there's uh, Sir Onel, there's Josh Ranos, a lot of them here. I am but a mere uh, apostle of these guys and uh, we just would like to share with you our uh, consumer experience of this one. And I hope uh, you guys uh, had a great time uh, watching this video. If you're new to this video, I hope uh, it inspired you to take your aerial photography and videography adventures uh, to new heights. This has been Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. Catch you on the next time. Bye!